guys, if you're getting started with SharePoint, this video is a must watch. In this video, I'm gonna go over creating a list app in SharePoint Modern UI and creating different types of columns like single line of text, choice, manage metadata columns, and cover some important naming conventions. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it can be done. I'm going to click on add an app and select a custom app. There are different kinds of apps over here, but since I'm going to add some custom columns, so I'm going to uh, select the custom list. And the name of this list is going to be employees. This creates an employee list and I click it open. And they are and there's pretty much just one default column which is the title. I can click on use I can click on the add column to create new columns. And this, these are the different data types of these columns. So I'm going to start creating a few columns. The first one is going to be the first name. So just click on single line of text and then click on enter first name. Make sure there are no spaces. Even if you want spaces in the display name, make sure that the first time when you're entering the name, there are no spaces. And that should pretty much be it. Click on save. And this creates me a first name. I can click on column settings here. Just click on it again. And this time I'm going to add a space. So this with the internal name does not have any space, but only the name that the user can see will have the first name space in there. Let's click, let's create another column, which is going to be last name. And again, this is going to be single line of text. Doing the same thing again, clicking on edit and adding a space in there. Let's go ahead and do it for now. Let's go ahead and create a choice column. And the choice column is going to be the job title. And the choices that are there in the job title is manager, developer, administrator. And so by default, click on more options. So, so this is going to be a drop down and not a radio button, which is exactly how I want it. And there is no default value. I can select a default value, but in my case, I don't want any default value. Click on save, and this creates a job title column. Uh, add another column, which is going to be address. single line of text which is okay click on save let's add a couple others city single line of text again save and uh, might be practice so in practice again is going to be or actually state so state is going to be choice column and I can enter multiple choices here Illinois Wisconsin, Indiana, Florida, New York. And again, there is no default value here. User can can uh, can add values manually. I don't like to select that option because I just want a control way of uh, of the user selecting the, uh, the states. Uh, click on more options and drop down. This is really what I want, which is okay. By the way, there's also allow multiple selections. So right now it's no, which is okay, and which is the way I want it. So these are the different, some of the different columns. Now I'm going to add a very special column, which is going to be uh, a managed column and I can add it from the Manage Metadata column right from here. And this is a very special column. I'm going to name it Practices. Oops. Practices. And we already have the data stored for this column. So Manage Metadata column and then require that this column contain information. Yes. Enforce unique values. No. 
and down at the bottom if I scroll down so this is where the taxonomy is taxonomy is a very special set of columns which is global to the entire tenant to the entire office 365 tenant users can select from these terms over here like in my case I'm gonna go ahead and select practices scroll down and hit on OK and so these are a list of my uh, all my columns that I've added in here another just one last one that I'm gonna add is active and active is going to be yes or no this is in a case if an employee is active or not so yes or no the default value is yes which is how I want it and just basically click on save so let's go let's go ahead and enter a new record and see how these columns turn out to be so title is always over here I, I could have made the first name as a title which is perfectly fine uh, so and title is always a required column so I can just go ahead and enter full name here just for the sake just because I want to fill it up if not it would have been a good practice to actually make the first name as the title column so title is let's just I'm gonna select developer address is going to be 2604 Dempster Street city is Park Ridge let's just say and then state is Illinois and so the practice is a very special column that I was talking about which is a managed metadata column I click on that and it brings in these values which are centrally stored in the in and is common to all the different sites within within office 365 and I can select just any value which is already there you don't okay and here we are I can add attachments and I had made practices as mandatory and that's the reason this is mandatory I can go back and I can make first name last name mandatory as well and I can remove the mandatory or on the title as well that's, that, that's perfectly fine if you like my video don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel